Hey boys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of your Draft to Glory franchise mode. In this episode, we're going to be, once again, going through the 2030-2031 season and draft as well. And hopefully, we can make some moves. As you guys are about to see, we did not make any pickups in uh, this off season, so we just start right at the regular season. I went through the free agency list, there was just nobody that we could pick up, unfortunately. So, with that said, let's check out the draft class here, and see if there's any fins early on. Thank God. There's another forward who's going to be ready almost instantly to crack the team. Uh, is there going to... Man, we need a defenseman though. Who's the number one defenseman out of Finland in this draft? Okay, we, there is a couple, there is a couple. So 40 and 41, so these guys have potential to be good. Hopefully we can end up making a... Hopefully one can be like NHL ready, or one year out. Would be the ideal situation. Let's take a look at the lines here. So, Patrol jumps up all the way from an 80 to an 84, which is absolutely massive for us. Koistin's a 76, Weissnin's an 81, Kapnan 83, and Suhonen and Laxanen both at 88. That is huge for us. So then you got Teravinen, low elite, he's up to a 76. He cut, We need him to have a massive development this year if we want him to hit like a 79-80. Which is really, if you look at that left wing depth, that's all we need him to be, 79-80. Markkanen, low elite, 21, he's looking like a major steal for us. He's already a 77, probably going to jump up into the top 6 as soon as next season. Piper Ranta is at a 78. He's kind of maxed out at how he'll develop. Euronin's at 25. Euronin, Matnin at 23. Again, low 9, but at 72, so he's starting to make moves. Defensively, Kibi Harju, Yohonen. Again, this is exactly what I mean, you guys. We need a defensive prospect to go with Kibi Harju. That's been the one thing we've been missing this entire franchise mode. And obviously, a goalie would be nice if we could pick one up. Go down to the American League, and it's all the young guys. So you got Itakalo with Tukio and Kuka. These two, Itakalo and Kuka, are going to be the future of this team. Hopefully they can get up here sooner rather than later. Engren, he's looking like he's about to make moves. Again, a big year from him could see him jump to a 75, 76. And then he's in the NHL. Yarvnin's a 72 as a low 9, but at 21 he has a chance. This guy, we're just trying to develop, make him into something good for us. And this Teravina, low elite, 66 but 20 years old. And then Hacken's looking like he's going to be a bust, if I'm being honest. We just really haven't been able to get him going. Uh, but we're going to try one more time to see if we can't get uh, something rolling there. Again, he's got plus there, so I'm fine with that. Defensively, again, all low sixes for the most part. One low four on the bottom pair. But our defense, the chemistry is perfect. So hopefully we can use that to our advantage. We're tanning. We need to get into the lineup. Oh, uh, but this guy's 21. Mm, I mean, we can take Blomqvist out, honestly. Take Blomqvist out because he's only a low 7. But we're tanning in. I mean, I'm fine with losing a little bit there just to make this work. Hang on, I gotta find a way. What if we do that? I mean, we have so many left handed defensemen that doesn't really make too big of a difference. Petrolainen. Okay, we're gonna do this. Again, I want Wirtanen getting as much ice time as possible. Take him out, put Wirtanen in. And I'm fine with that. Again, Idakalo and Kuka. Okay, they're both on number one power play. Hacken and Engren, I need on that number two. Engren. And you can make the... Mm -hmm. No, Calio, I don't really want there. So we'll put Hacken here, just to try and get him going a little bit. Oy. You know what, screw it. Again, we need the power play to get going, so... Uh, just for our prospects. Okay. Typolus needs in the lineup. There's no debate on that. Same with Unilla. So Typolus and Unilla. 
Low six, bottom six, medium nine, but he's twenty four three. I mean, Hal, you could make the argument for taking Hal out of the lineup. And he's not even a center, so I mean, I mean, no matter who we put in, he's not a center, but that's okay. Kukunen, 24, no. Hamenio, no, because you don't, don't really fit anymore. Hugh Noah, we're going to have to get in there. Typolos is the big one, though. Him, we need in the lineup. So he can just play down there. Again, considering his overall, I mean, he's got an okay shot, all things considered. Uh, and then, yeah, like I said, Unilla's the other one. I'm going to play him on the right wing, though. Just because, we, again, we just don't have the spot. Ooh. I mean, medium 9, but a 58 overall it is not ideal. Mm. And again, I don't want to not play that person. You know what, we're going to take a gamble here and take Tukio out. Maybe play Yarvanen up at center. I know Yarvanen is not the ideal one to put there, but again, the minor leagues literally just about getting our potential going. So Unilla can go there. And then again, we just got to get this figured out. Uh, you know what, let's put Hacken up there, honestly. Faceoff's not great, but again, just gives him the extra ice when Unilla gets in the lineup. Gotta put Unilla on the th fourth line though, because I would rather play Typolus. Let's make sure potential wise we're good now. Kukunen, I know, is fine. That's fine. Okay, let's go. And goaltending Lightning is going to take over the starting role in the minors. So with that said, let's hop into the regular season and see what this team can pull off. That said, I think we're at the start of the preseason. No, we are at the regular season. So let's hop right in here, skip all the way to the end of the season. We have yet, I don't think we've had a 31 season yet, if I remember correctly. So before this episode, we did sign a bunch of guys to contract extensions. Uh, just so that we can kind of get that out of the way a bit quicker here. Might have just been the two, but I thought it was more, but... There we go. I think it was, yeah, it was just those ones. So, after... Wow. After a 4-2 and two start, that was unex... How are... How is this happening? We're 6-3. and three. <laughs> so, What the fuck? Um... That's by far the best start we've ever had to a season. I don't, and again, now it's falling off a cliff. I was going to say, there's no chance that we keep up that kickoff to the season. I was going to say, it was pretty much impossible to keep up that kind of a pace. But that start could help us avoid finishing last place in the league, but I'm thinking, looking at this, we're still going to be last place. Big one over Minnesota. Yeah, see, it's it's all falling apart now. <laughs> but that's, man, back-to-back -back wins. We're up to 14 wins. I mean, we're keeping pace to avoid being the worst team. But it's going to be tight. And a what? You know, again, we can't do this. But I just want to see what his overall is to even offer that. Oh my god, man. <laughs> well, I can tell you right now, um, if we weren't doing a draft to glory, Matty Beneers would be on this team right now. Two second round picks, uh, two second round picks for three more years of Matty Beneers at less than nine million. Uh, I would have done that in a heartbeat. Oh my god. I've never seen such a bad trade offered by uh, the computers, though. And we're still winning games. We're not the worst team in the league right now. We're winning games still. And we're going to stop here. We're 20-26-1. and one. We're not even... Like, we're still close to being one of the worst teams. But we're definitely ahead of a few of them. So, let's take a look at... Yeah, that's why. Suhonen's probably going to have a 100-point season. Okay. Suhonen and Laxman stay the same overall. Not seeing any overall growth. Let's see. Laxonen with 49 points. Love to see that. Man, 46 points for Patrell. He's got to jump up big time next season, I would think. Man, 
34 points from Koistinen. Again, monster year from Suhonen so far. Man, 48 points for Kapanen. 36, 23, 14. Man, defensively. Let's check defense here. Kivy Harger's got 33. That's a career in 47 games. He's likely going to have a career high. Because right now his career high is 52 points. And he's at 33 and 47. So he should hit a new career high, but it, he could fall off. Goaltending. It's not even like we're getting that overly great of goaltending. It's just we've been getting scoring. In the minors, Idikawa is a 74. He's having a solid season with 33 points. Oh, Hacken. Yeah, putting him on the top line was a good decision. 53 points in 47 games in his second year in the minors. Uh, I think sending. I think we maybe should have sent him down a bit earlier because that could have stunted his growth for sure. 13 points for Typolis in his first season in North America. Tyvenin, yeah, Teravinen, 14 goals this season. He's on pace for a career high. I'm gonna hop over to the defense. We're tanning. He's rocking 29 points. I like that. Again, no overall growth, though. That's a little concerning. Uh, Goaltending, Lightning's got 905. I like that a lot. So, needless to say, we're starting to make progress. I, this very much so looking like it's going to be our best season yet. Because, again, I don't think we've ever hit 30 wins, and we're at 20-26-1. and one. So, we're definitely in a good position to do just that. But I'm not. But again, if we go cold again, like we did after our hard start, then that could prevent that. Or we go on a three, four, or we go on a four-game win streak. Five, six. What? Seven? Uh, I think that's a franchise record for win streak. Uh, seven wins in a row, and then lose one and win one again. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be the worst team in the league this year. I think this could be the first time that we jump out from last place and we just need two wins after the deadline to hit 30 for the first time i have follow on waivers 20 we're gonna hit 30 wins for the first time ever we hit 30 wins oh my god we're not gonna be a playoff team but this is definitely our best season ever can come on keep it going keep it going do not finish last place give us a few more wins to ensure Avoiding last. Let's go. 34, 35, 36. Okay, so we finish still nowhere near a playoff team, but 36, 45, and 1. 63 points is last place. We actually finished ahead of 1, 2, 3. We finished ahead of 4 teams and tied with a few more. Did Suhon and Suhonen cracked 100 good points and 50 goals. Suhonen's got to hit a 90 next season. There's no way Su you can tell me Suhonen's not a 90 overall next season. He's only 22. He's had 55 points in his rookie year, then 85, 74, and then popped off for 100 for this year with 52 goals. There's no way he, he does not pop off. And that $10 million contract looks amazing now. Laksonen finishes with 79 points. And yeah, we got him locked in long term for at 9 million, so I like that. Petrel finishes with 71 points. I believe. Yep, 71 for Petrel. He should also get a good jump. 55 for Koistinen. Weissnen with 63. Kapanen with 78 points. You'd love to see that. And then again, Suhonen. Okay, Teravinen had. 31 points. Markkinen with 20, not 26. Again, he's 77. Hopefully we can get a bit of a jump next season. 42 for Pavaranta. Marjala with only 24. Or, no, 22. Sorry. Matinen picks up 17 points. Euronen with 25. See, our offense is starting to look legit, though. Like, we have two good, two solid lines. And then the third line's at the point that they can at least compete. Defensively, that's our issue. If we if we can get a couple good defensemen in this draft, then we are literally one to two seasons away from potentially being a playoff team, which is still crazy to even think. 
Idacolo finished with 44 points. Hawken finished with Jesus. Whoo! 71 points for Hawken. Yeah, putting him up to that line was a good idea. Kuka with 59. 24 for Engren as a 19 year old was solid. 21 for Kovasari. Garvinen finishes with 28. 25 for Kapolos in his rookie year. He's now a 64. He was a 62 at the start of the year. This guy was a 58 start of the year. He had 16 points. Jumps up a little bit. Teravainen, 68 overall. Finishes with 16 goals. Unilla is up to a 64. Philpila is 68. And Mietnin is a 69. Nice. Defensively, nobody jumped up. Uh, actually, Calio, I think, went up to a 70. I don't think he was that before. Uh, 43 points for Wirtanen. Would have liked to see him do a bit better, though. Again, the scratches, that don't matter. Leitinen finished with a 905. That is great. I don't think I checked the NHL goalies. Okay, yeah, there we go. So, now let's check out the league numbers. Did we win... Now, Suhonen's not going to lead the league in points, but he might <clears throat> he might have a shot at something else. So, yeah, like I said, Suhonen's 100 points, just nuts. Somehow, Laksonen was a minus 34. So, yeah, that line was definitely our issue, was the patrol laksonen line, because our second line was Suhonen and Kapanen. They, they were only, they were about even. So, that's unfortunate, but is what it is league leader Eichel and I mean a couple guys still have one game to go but McKinnon and Eichel finished with 119 points next closest was 108 Lindholm 105 Caulfield could still pass Lindholm uh, let's take a look at the 100 point guys or so Sue Hon again Sue Honan with 101 points matching David Pasternak anyone okay so Karkner he can still hit the 100 point club He's got three-year deal at 11 million. And is there anyone else that needs that can still hit it? Kirby Doc, he needs to pull off a three-point game to hit it. Kaprizov needs a four-point game. So let's just take a look here at the goal leaders this season. Fenton leads the way with a 60-goal season. Crombean with 56, Karkner 54, McKinnon 54, and Suhonen cracks the 50-goal mark ahead of Brady Kachuk. Let's look at the rookies. Sandlack is most likely going to win the Calder as an 89 overall medium franchise, 19 years old. Man, he's a true franchise guy. Shock and awe, Schneipe, Big Tip, one and 1T are the big ones there. So yeah, no, he's going to absolutely torch the league for a while. Goaltenders, Philip Gustafson, 46 wins, my god. And four shutouts. Hang on, let's see save percentage. Yeah, no, Philip Gustafson's about to win the uh, Vesna. I, I can almost guarantee it. The only one that could prevent that, I would have said Vizmalka, but he's got an 894. If he had a respectable save percentage, I would have had him up there. So I would imagine Philip Gustafson's about to take home the Vesna. We will sim to the end of the playoffs, and then it will hop over to the draft. Where finally, we're not going to be the worst team. <sighs> Which also means, I can almost guarantee you, that means we're going to win the draft lottery. Because we never win it. So I have a feeling now that we're near the bottom, but not last, that there's a good chance that we actually win it. That said, we can't, there's not really anyone we can take there. I'm hoping those finished defensemen I showed you guys before the season... Hopefully they didn't jump to first round picks and fall out of a spot that we can get them. So we pick fourth overall Toronto Falls from one to three. Uh, but they have Seattle's pick, so that sucks if you're Seattle. Seeing that one. Let's check out the retired players. Ryan Nugent Hopkins. I'll just go by games played. So Victor Hedman calls it quits at 40 years old. Sagan at 39. Nuge. Falk, Toffoli, Larson, Kadri, Landis, Gug, Horvat, Pajo, Wenberg, Truba, Brody, and Teravine, Zadorov, Pesci, Lawton, Dumba, CC, Mark Stone, Ryan Strom, Bjorkstrand, again, just everybody. Connor Hellebuck's the big goalie that calls it quits, along with Corpusello, Bennington, Laner, 
Ranta, Campbell, Forsberg, Brissois, Decord. Yep. So, again, skip. So, Victor Hedman becomes a coach. Let's go here. And get to the NHL draft after we check the awards where the Tampa Bay Lightning win the cup and Suhonen did what I hoped and he's a 91 overall. Come on. So Tampa Bay wins their third Stanley Cup in five seasons. President's Trophy went to the Canucks. Campbell goes to the Canucks as Tampa Bay beat them out in the cup final. We will check the bracket after this. So McKinnon with the Art Ross and the Hart. Norris mm -hmm. goes to Adam Fox for back-to-back -back years. Lady Bing goes to Lindholm. Calder goes to Sandlock as expected. Conn Smythe to Kucherov for his second time in three cup wins. Fesna to Philip Gustafson as expected. Jennings goes to Gustafson. Peak with the Masterton. We don't win it because we're not the worst team. Thank God. Pittsburgh takes home the Jack Adams. Selkie goes to Halak in Seattle. Lindsay to McKinnon. Fenton with the Richard. And uh, that is that. Do we win any awards in the minors? I highly doubt it. But I'm just going to go through here to make sure. Not seeing anything. Nope. No awards in the minors. Not even the bottom bottom one. Hacken actually went down from a 73 to a 72. That's concerning. But if he keeps going down, then again, he's just a player we can ultimately get rid of. So let's view the draft class here and hope for the best. So again, Mietnin, we knew this coming into the season because he was already listed at this. Similar to TJ Oshie, uh, one year out. So, But for us, that means he's in the NHL right now. Did those kids stay in the second round projection? Looks like they did. Did they fall? One of them fell a little more. But Blomqvist, three years out, potentially has truculence. And could be a medium four, which would be massive. Let's check this. Yeah, we knew Mietnin's going to be the big one here. A low six, there's a couple low six D men later in the draft. Then we can take Pustinen, five years out at 20 years old. Not going to be anything there. Corpacari, we don't know anything on him, so I'm just going to take him off the list now. Same thing with Unila. This, hang on, shooting. Four years out at 18. This guy could be something. We'd have to develop him in the minors. This guy's a medium six. That was the other defenseman we were looking at. Only 17 compared to Brent Seabrook in four years out. Potentially has bounce back. But again, he's locked at a medium six, which isn't ideal. Because again, we want to find guys with actual potential now. Okay, what about Grandland here? And there's some guys that could become something, but you never know. This guy's probably not it. Again, Blomqvist, we kept an eye on. He's going to be an option. Definitely going to be an option for us. Medium bottom six, I don't want. So, there we go. Let's hop into the draft and see what we can pull off. We know we're getting a good player with that first pick. But hopefully we can make something happen here. It's nice not being in the top three for the first time, though. I'm not going to lie. Sizzik, 80 medium elite. Hogland, 81 medium elite to Philly. Toronto picks up Farrell. 81 medium elite center so we will make our selection here obviously it's going to be Mietinen 73 medium six there's a chance that we could actually just play him in the minors and develop him the right way to base off our developments uh these last few seasons I think this I don't want to take it but it might have to be Risto three years out 17 right hand has good shooting. I mean, everything's pretty much like good shooting and good physical is the key thing there. Whereas this one, we're not really confirmed. He's got worse skating, worse physical. We're going to take a gamble here. And we're going to take Blomkrest because he might have better potential. Thank God. Oh, thank. We finally have a medium four defenseman to go with uh, Kibi Harju. He's going to play in the minors for a little bit, uh, just so we can develop him up. But we've been waiting for that pick for seasons. Like, I'm, I'm not even kidding, like, literal seasons. Thank God. So, 62 medium 4. If we would have gone wrist to line in, 58 medium 6. I don't think I would have been able to live my, with myself over that pick if I made that one. So, we're up at pick 70. 
Gonna take a look here. We might take Pustinen again. This could be another defensive pick. Oh, this guy looks decent, though. Not the greatest physical, but has great puck skills and shooting. Hagman might be the pick here. Or Granlund. No, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards uh, Hagman. Four years out, so he's a little better. I really like this option here. Yep, I'm really liking this. Uh, Hagman is going to be the pick, and we're going to try and jump up here. And where'd he go? Where'd he go? Hagman. Yep, this looks like a good pick to me. Fif only 59, medium 9, but you know what? Medium 9 can still be something for us down the road. So I'm okay with that, because, I mean, he's got good shooting stats, and that's the biggest thing. He's got what we need. Okay, defense. This is 100% a defenseman pick. Gonna hope he has decent potential. Only a 57, but medium 6, so it, it's better than low 6. Medium 6, he can at least crack the lineup at some point. Uh, again, just keep going here. Again, might just take another defenseman. I haven't decided yet. We're really running it tight here. Again, if I go by this, is there any fins that we were missing? Don't believe so. No. So, let's go back to the pin. Low sixes. I mean, not ideal. I don't think we're going to find anything out of this one. Uh, again, you almost have to gamble on a defense. We don't know enough about him to really trust that. I don't want to take a bottom six potential. Uh, we really don't know enough about these guys, which is unfortunate. Um, I'm leaning towards one of the low six demon, but I'm also leaning towards... And how many years out? Five years? Four years potentially with back at you? We're going to take this guy because he does potentially have an X factor. 56 low six is unfortunate. Does not look like he has an X factor. He does not. So we're just going to skip to the next round. we got a couple picks to go. And hopefully we can get the players we need. I'm, again, this might be a low six pick again. but Or we take another forward. Um, potentially it was shut down, but no guarantee. We don't know anything on Nitty Mackey. And that's because he was playing in Sweden. Um, he is the highest rated guy, though. We're going to take this guy, and then we'll take Hirakawa. Ah, medium six. So, and yeah, we'll, like I said, we'll take Hirakawa with our final pick. And then we will get to the resign phase and kind of jump into everything else. Take a forward here. Medium bottom six. Not ideal. Probably could have gotten the two low six. So, that said, let's hop into the resign phase and see what we can come up with. And we will obviously take a look at everything else. Coaches, scouting, I'll resign those guys off the screen for you guys. Just to save a little bit of time here. And take a look here. Yeah. So Kibi Harju's gone from an 89 down to an 88, which isn't ideal. But Suhonen jumps from an 88 to a 91, which is absolutely huge for us. Oh, as I hit the wrong button. But yeah, 91 overall, 88. Like, the forwards look great. Kibi Harju's still phenomenal. Petrel goes up to an 85, which is even better. Kapanen's an 84. Weissman goes up to an 82. Markkinen's up to a 78. Yeah, no, this team... Idakala went up to a 76. He's going to be in the NHL next season. That's huge. Yeah, we're definitely getting some good development. Lapiso is a 75. I think he was a 73 before. So he's probably... Actually, no, he will be in the NHL next season. Hentunen. Miettinen's a 73. So I think that's the kid we just drafted, right? Yep. So he might make the NHL, but we might just allow him to sit a little bit longer here. Uh, how? Like, there's some guys we can get rid of. Like, how we can get rid of, finally. So let's go expiring deals. Weissnet obviously getting re-signed. What do we have? 28 million. I'll go... Two years at 6 million. It's hitting that point. We have to be a little bit careful with our cap situation, though. So I'm trying to... Okay, this guy wants a two-way, so anytime we get a two-way deal, obviously we can just give him what he wants. Peltonen probably stays. Lapiso is definitely staying, obviously. 
Uh, two years will give you 1.6 because he doesn't want to resign, so got to make that work. Hacken, gonna resign him. Uh, gonna wait and see on that, but we will resign. We just gotta wait and see on our cap, obviously. Uh, just go through here. Philp, you'll have resign for now. Maybe not, because again, he wants a one way deal. If we do, it's gonna be just a simple. Oh no. Oh, okay, I accidentally skipped days. My bad. Uh, it doesn't really matter there. Uh, these bottom six guys, they can just get released. Low nine, Curry, again, low nine, wasn't making the lineup even this year, so he can sit out because he's not going to make the team. Sorry, we'll probably bring him back. Mietnan hitting the point that we almost don't even need to bring him back. Uh, let's check the goalies. We're good there. Get through the unsigned phase because I do need to make sure. Blomqvist, I do want to get him signed for the minors because I do want to play him in the American League right away. Colton and he can wait because again it's just a spot we only have so many potential guys Mietnan obviously is going to get signed okay now we go here again I think this is the best way to go about it uh, so centers one two three four Matnan obviously gonna get re-signed here one year deal that's good with me 1.62 Tukio I think he had a good was he in the American League or the NHL? He's in the AHL this year, but again, he's in an okay role. I'll give him one year at 1.5, or just above. I'm only giving one year, though, because I don't trust that he's going to stay up long enough. Again, same thing with Philpula. I don't want to give him long term. Now, these guys, they can sit a little bit. And then let's go to the left wingers. Really got to take a look here. Again, Hall, I'm actually going to let go of. Um, because, again, medium six potential. and I mean, bottom six. And he was playing on the fourth line this year. So I, I'm, I'm okay with getting rid of him. Hacken, one year. Come on, buddy. We need you to develop. We need you to have a monster year. At least hit a 75. That at least allows him to take over in a bottom six role with the NHL club. Euronen. I mean, he's 75. Two years, 1.5, good enough. Uh, Haminio hasn't been in the lineup, so he can finally get released. Kukonen, bottom six potential, get out. Miesnen, again, tough one, but we can put him in the minors to play. Again, one year deal, that's all I want to do here. And Kaltanen, gonna sit on the defenseman. This is where it gets tough. Most, work, pretty much our entire D court needs signed. You got low 7, low 6 at 25, but Peltonen's a good fit. I know that for a fact. Um, but we do need guys that can step up and develop for us. Lackanen, we need, again, these young guys, we need to get signed. We need them to sign, and we need them to step up in a big way this year. So we're going to sign them. Sign Calio for the extra year, just because he's a year younger. Uh, again, Peltonen's our number 2 D-man. But that's the tough thing. We have so many 75s right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Hang on. Blomfrist is a 70, but he's playing in the minors. And we just have enough defensemen that we need the space. That's the biggest issue. Is we just don't have the space for these guys. Uh, so, 1, 2. Yeah, no. Paltonen's going to get signed. Hang on. I gotta go based off guys I need in the NHL this year. One, two, say three, four. Release him. Cam Peltonen wants to resign, so we can just give him what he wants. So there we have our top three, four. Do that. I mean, I, I'm tempted to let go of Minkinen, but he was solid defensively this year. Um, we're yeah, we're at that point. It's getting really tough. What to do defensively? Again, we're in a position that we need to win games. Um, we're hitting that stage where you want to win games. So one, two, three, four. 
five, and that allows for two spots at the NHL level, which is going to be one of these 72 guys, most likely, unless unless Brutan and develops. If he develops, then we're in a very good spot. So I'll go with that. So, like I said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve for the minors. Thirteen. So we need to release one defenseman. I think it's going to be Kovacar. I think this is the guy that we're going to release. And besides, I think we had him playing forward this year for some reason. Release him. That gets us down to 12 defensemen signed. Petra Lanin, we can bring him back. Just to, again, just got to get these guys signed to see what we can do. Okay, that's good. Goaltenders, again, we don't need to sign anybody. Oh, this has been so tough. Um, advanced day. Hopefully we got everyone re-signed. Hacking, yep, yep. Keep it going. As long as everyone's re-signing, we're good. Come on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody re-signs. We have 16 million in cap space. So we actually gain a bit of cap space heading into the free agency section. So actually, figure just this one time. I uh, can show you guys actually... Uh, so we're signing our coaches again it helps that this guy wants to be an associate coach so we get him signed and just keep on moving up here 870k that's a good deal uh scouts we had a couple to get locked in so once we get that then we will be okay again i think we had a couple but not many these guys are always really quick to sign because they cost so little so this makes it a lot easier send this all the way down because I think we had one more yep get him going that's good lock him in for five seasons and let's dig into that let's make sure they all sign and then I will be good to go he accepts and again all the scouts they will accept their deals as they usually do so with that said guys that is going to be the end of this episode we are finally making some progress. We Our first 30 win season. And as you guys can see, we have our first 100 point 1 and 50 goal player. Who is now a 91 overall. And he could still develop a little bit more over the offseason too. So we could see a 92-93 on this team next year. So till then guys, if you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I will see you guys in the next one.